in the co-main event at UFC 221 in Perth, Australia, we have Curtis Blades, the American, versus Mark Hunt, the Australian, native of New Zealand. All right, Curtis Blades is your favorite at minus 165. Mark Hunt comes back at plus 135. Dan Tom, what do you see going down in the co-main event? Boy, this is another all-action affair, and it's heavyweight, so that action speaks louder. Uh, Mark Hunt, obviously, he can knock you out with one-shot power, but Curtis Blades, a lot of people have their eye out on him, including myself. Uh, excellent wrestling. His striking is really coming together, but is this too much too soon? I'm going to lead toward yes for now. I'm going to side with Mark Hunt because until I see more of Curtis Blades, a little more decision-making, a little more process in there, I'm going to side with the veteran to find his shots. Mark Hunt. From all accounts, following him on social media, it looks like he's in some really, really tip-top shape. And, of course, I think he wants to perform in front of the home crowd. I mean, this guy throws as hard as anybody. And don't sleep on his ability to stop a takedown and also get up. So even if Blades has some success there, I think Mark Hunt will be able to get back to the feet where he is just ruthless. I expect the KO maybe in the second round. Ghost? I think Curtis has to fight the perfect fight to get the victory here, and it just seems like it's too much to ask for. Uh, he's going to have to survive a lot of these big blows from Mark Hunt, and when he lands his, he's going to make them count. I got Mark Hunt. So we're all on Mark Hunt, and we're all on Luke Rockhold. There you go, the MMA Junkie Radio team. Unanimous decision.